welcome to our first vlog of 2024 we're away somewhere very exciting today and we are going to have a lesson with the one and only Ross Cantor I am so so excited it's a chilly day today but it's lovely and sunny so That's huge. Wait, your mum. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. <gasps> yeah, we fine. Oh my god, it looks so posh. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look, look at that. It's so posh. We might need to take photos, I think. My system goes very quickly. But it means that when I need to be, and when I'm under high pressure, I need to be very good at it, I put the time into it. Okay, so I can turn that into an advantage. So, it's all about um, what are our responsibilities and what are horse responsibilities. Hi, Jockey! stables to give them my passport. This place is amazing. How amazing. Chilleriums, Father Bees, Massive Indoor. I am so excited for my lesson. <laughs> so excited. Just putting boots on. So Roz pulled us in just to ask us a little bit about our horses, what we did, what we're wanting to do. I said mine is quite bold and then chucked me off. Whoops. He was incredibly spooky warming up, um, particularly at this end. This Jump for Joy banner was the bane of his life. You'll see later on in the lesson. 
um yeah just really quite spooky but then it was sunny so there's loads of like shadows and things in the arena um but yeah he warmed up quite nicely just a bit gung-ho You can see him spy this here. Doesn't want to go near that. Oh, what a little monkey. But he was so... I don't know, he was just very tense and he wasn't travelling forward, which was a bit annoying. But he was jumping quite nicely. Um, Nice little flying change. But don't get me wrong, he was really good. Um, But not the best he can go. Oh, round to the skinny. So yeah, but let's just do two, three warm-up fences and right onto skinny. So that doesn't suit him at all because it takes him a wee while to get his brain in gear. But we'll straight through. I remember coming round here and you can see That's there, my son, it. the sun is in my eye and then he decks me. So, in my mind, I was on a good strike to that. Three, two, one. No, and that's not like him at all. I actually felt physically sick when I got up with pain at my back. I can't even describe how sore my back is at this point. And I didn't tell anyone because I wanted to carry on my lesson. But honestly, it was so sore. And then because because he'd already refused, I couldn't correctly like implement my water to do because my back was so sore. And then you could see him here get more and more and more wound up. And this is where it all starts going wrong because he is then in this own little, in his own little world and he's not liking it. So we now have to come round and you can see his canter there is unbelievably tense. Canter and halt. Pat him. Then again, you can see him here. It's like a spring. He's not going forward at all. Um, and we do the same exercise, canter and halt. Now, she told us to do this because what she says is, imagine there is a wall parallel in line with the jump. So you cannot go and turn behind the jump. You have to turn in front of it and then go again. And eventually then they realise it's easier to go over the jump than it is to stop. So this time I think I jump it. Oh no, I don't. I halt again. So it's the next time I jump it. 
and it's a horrific jump, but he went. And then he goes round and jumps a brush shoulder, like, absolutely perfectly fine, but my mother didn't get that on video because I think she thought I was finished. So, yeah, this is another horrific jump, but, look, he's just like a cold spring. Breaks to trot, wanting to resist, but jumped it. Took the flag out. So, canter round, la 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 now that looks like i just sat there and i genuinely was pulling that left rein and he was not doing a single thing so back to the same exercise halt little monkey little monkey is all i'm saying fabulous got a little bit close to this one but that's allowed still traveled forward Whoop. yeah oh that scary sign again no, then I'm thinking, oh my goodness, and I have to jump this little oxer to this corner, which I've just got launched off at. Slip. Nice jump. No, this is where he totally over jumps. Whoa! My back is an agony. I can't even describe how sore it is because he chucked me off again. Why does this keep happening to me? I can't even explain how sore it is. So I think I'm going out to loft to the hospital to get it checked. I have a hat on it's so cold. So I have been and got my back checked out and unfortunately I had to get extras on it. But there's nothing broken. Um, I have just really bashed it. So I'm on pain relief. But it was a very good lesson. I think Jock just got a bit bored because he was a bit uppity and got a bit... I don't know. He wasn't himself anyway. But... I just thought I would show you this cool little thing that we got from Bogomi. So, everyone who had a lesson came away with this a bucket. But it wasn't just any bucket because it has a full box of like um, gut supplement, book on all the feeds, all these samples from Emerald Green Feeds who actually sponsor Rose Cantor. Here we go, Emerald Feeds. Then a cool pen. And the best part of all. So we got this cool photo of Rose. Which is signed. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, and now I can use this handy book out of venting. But yeah, Bogan Wraith is absolutely amazing. Like, amazing. Um, the facilities are just out of this world, so we'll definitely be going back. Um, but yeah, it was it was a really good lesson. So I tried to film as much as I can when I was there, and truthfully, that is all I did jump-wise, because we had a group of five. Um, and I am not bashing anyone here. But I was only ever meant to have four in my group and I always think five is way too much because there's so much waiting about in between each person jumping. Um, but Ros was full of mass amounts of knowledge, helped me loads with tips on skinnies and things like that and how to um, correct issues if you have stops them and things like that. So it was fantastic. It was a very good lesson. Bar Jock chucked me off. I would definitely go back and we are planning to go back. Um, it's just finding time and things which I want to go to. But if you do ever get a chance, please do head up because the facilities are absolutely amazing.